Exclusive, Meghan Markle's father Thomas Markle has not shied away from the press since his daughter announced her engagement to Prince Harry and has caused never-ending drama for his daughter but will the birth of Meghan's first child trigger further problems or heal the deepening rift between the two? After initially appearing to be a solitary man who spoke little of the upcoming wedding, Royals fans were shocked when it was revealed he had accepted money from the tabloid press to stage photographs, showing him looking up British history in an internet cafe and a very public tuxedo fitting. What followed was an emotional roller coaster for Meghan when it was reported her father had pulled out attending her wedding last May, but just a day later he said he had changed his mind and would go to the wedding only to reverse that decision for a third time and said he had dropped out due to urgent heart surgery. Since then, he has been truly open with the press and said he has no working phone number or address to contact his daughter and slammed Meghan for her sense of superiority and claimed she looks terrified in her new role. The latest development is that Thomas Markle recently shared a personal letter to the press that Meghan had written to him. In it she penned he broke her heart into a million pieces and then urged him to stop lying to the press. This followed on from five of Meghan's closest friends opening up to People magazine about their best friend and sharing their thoughts on her broken relationship with her father. Meghan is due to give birth to her first child in the spring and some hope the child could be way to mend the bond between Meghan and her father. Royal commentator and author of Royally Suited, Harry and Meghan in their own words, Phil Dampier told Express.co.uk this is a make-or-break moment. He continued. The way the story has developed in the last couple of weeks with the people who talked to People magazine on behalf of Meghan and the fact she has gone out to New York and doesn't seem to be visiting her father, clearly the relationship has broken down. I would have said if you had asked me a month or two ago, that the birth of the baby was an ideal opportunity for her to try and patch things up with her dad and for them to come together. Obviously it will be very sad if he didn't ever get to see his grandson or granddaughter but unfortunately it could go the other way. If there is no communication when the baby is born, I think the relationship is probably damaged forever and it's highly unlikely it will ever be healed whereas a couple of months ago I thought it might be something which could have brought them together, now I don't think anyone will know quite which way it would go but it would be the obvious catalyst for them to try and heal their rift. However the way things are things have developed over the last few weeks I have my doubts and the relationship could have been damaged irrevocably. Mr. Dampier explained he believes the relationship between father and daughter was strained before her relationship to Prince Harry. And believes it started breaking down when she moved to Toronto to star in suits and started mixing in different circles. At some point they, Meghan's family, perceive she was becoming a glamorous Hollywood star or a glamorous actress certainly and she started moving in different circles, Mr. Dampier explained. I think the relationship at some point was damaged in that period even before she met Harry, I don't think the relationship went bad when she met Harry I think it was already bad. It was very strange to me, the fact Harry never even met Thomas Markle before asking for his daughter's hand speaks volumes but obviously she didn't have a good relationship with him then. It has been going on for many years and I don't think anyone from the outside could really say what the original cause of it was. The royal commentator explained Kensington Palace dealt with the situation badly and a courtier should have been sent to his home in Mexico before the wedding to put an arm round him. They should have explained what was going to happen and paid for his airfare and bring him over. The fact they didn't do this indicates the relationship broke down beforehand, he said. Mr. Dampier said he hopes as an outsider the child will be the catalyst for them healing their differences and patching up their problems. But he added, there is talk of a tour of America later in the year for Harry and Meghan so she might take the baby out there and go and see her father so that is a possibility. But as a result of the events of the last couple of weeks, I have my doubts whether it is going to happen.